uh, intro. Hello, Rin here. Let me show you how I built Mount Fuji in Minecraft. So first I started with a lake that goes in front of Mount Fuji that took me a very long time. I made an entrance sign, a parking lot, a water fountain, and some pathways too. Then I made two rows of shops, I planted some trees, and I made light poles that light up at night. This is the base outline of the mountain. Trust me, it's way bigger than it looks. Now for the lava, I actually layered the orange and red glass together so that it would make a very cool effect instead of just putting lava straight to it. The new 1.19 Minecraft update just got into my laptop and I spawn frogs like crazy. And here's the unfinished top of the mountain. This is what the middle and lower layers of the mountain looks like. Because the mountain isn't technically a square, I do corners by marking both sides, then just placing the box in between. And this is what the corners look like after filling up the blocks in between. And this is Reen, an ally that I spawned in. Ally. Ally? 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 I don't know. From this angle, it looks finished, but this is what the top of the mountain looks like with all the very cool effects and Reen. I was just building, trying to complete the mountain. Just doing some normal stuff. If it, if it was dark, I would put a torch nearby. But then, uh, but then I see Reen. 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 Oh my God, she's everywhere. Finally, I have finally gotten to the last block of the mountain. Oh my goodness, this mountain took a very long time to make. Then I made a pathway that goes around the mountain. This also took a very long time but it was very fun to make because I got to use the very beautiful new mangrove wood planks in the new 1.19 update. So I really enjoyed this process of building. I also added fences at the sides of the pathway so that nobody would really like uh, read, slip read, and read, fall. Read. This is a very cute food stall that I made based off a picture in Pinterest that I found. It's really cute and I also added some plants and I bone milled the grass and I also planted some trees. And this is what the super cool upgraded entrance sign looks like. Look at the scenery behind the surroundings. They looked beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Overall, I'm really, really satisfied with how all the builds turned out. I also added lanterns to create a very nice effect. I added a little boat too. And all the shops are functioning. There's ice cream, self-serving restaurants. It's really cool. It's really, really nice. The shops, really cute and functioning. The scenery at the pathway, absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Because let's be honest, who wouldn't love a scenery like this? You're just walking around and here's the sakura tree that I made. In the pond there are axolotls and I put plants there as well to make the very nice visual effects. The scenery when you walk through the pathways, absolutely stunning. I added lanterns all over. You can take screenshots and pictures when you go here in this map. There's trees around. It's really, really nice if you want to have like scenes here or just general screenshotting. <laughs> This is a really cute food stall that I made and a little gazebo, it's really cute. Now this part of the pathway is definitely my favorite. It's absolutely gorgeous, it's stunning. The lamps, the trees, the pathways, it's really really nice. 
but the pathway does actually eventually lead you back to the shops. But overall, thank you so much for watching this video of how I made Mount Fuji in Minecraft. Overall, I was very happy with what I made. So, thank you and goodbye.